Today in this video, we're going to take a look at how to program PLUs or departments on the SAM4S ER915 cash register. This is a really popular cash register. A lot of people buy this register and program it themselves, so this is one of the most common questions we get is how do you program a button to be taxable or open or preset? And this is how you do it. I'm just going to run down a really quick program of how to make a button taxable by tax rate one and open. Otherwise, this video could take hours. So what we have to do is the PLU status programming. And most importantly, we have to figure out this code that I'm highlighting there in the video, the PLU status code. And you do that by creating a value for N1 through N9. A lot of people look at this book and they think, oh, where's the N1 button? Where's the N2 button? Those buttons don't exist. It's a value that we have to create. You create that value. If you look at the next page, you'll see a flow chart for the PLU status chart. There on the left are all of the N1 numbers and on the right is how you compute the number. So for N1, we're going to say that this PLU is open. So we're going to uh, assign a one. So that's the opposite of preset, which means open. Then can this PLU be overridden? I'm gonna put no because it's not preset anyhow. So that's a two. And then is this taxable by tax rate number one? I'm going to say, yes, it is. That's where I come up with the four. So now you add that together for the value for N1, which happens to be in this case, seven. If we wanted that PLU to be preset, that would have been a zero there. So our value would have been six. Hopefully that makes sense. Now I know just from past experience that most of the other values we never even use. So they're all going to be zero. So if you look at my example right here, everything else is a zero, but you need to go through those choices yourself and develop that code for your buttons. So now that we have our code, which happens to be a seven followed by eight zeros, now we can program this register. So we're gonna turn the key to the program position, which is the P mode on the mode switch. Here's a picture of it, see the P? That is how you turn it into the program mode. Then we're going to enter 100 on the 10 pad and press subtotal. Then we're going to press the button that we want to program. We're gonna program POU number one. Here's a picture of where it is on the keyboard. It's the top button. So we press that. Now, you can ignore those other steps there. Those are good ways of programming lots of POUs, but let's just ignore it for now. Then we're going to enter the code that we developed which was seven followed by eight zero. So you're just going to enter that on the 10 pad. Then you're going to press the X time button. After that, you're going to press the cash button. That will finalize and save the program. And we're done programming the status or the personality of that particular PLU. We made it open. We made it taxable by tax rate number one. It's pretty simple. Now, we didn't put in a tax rate. We didn't program a name for that button. We just simply made it taxable and open. But it, I think it gave you a little taste of how you develop that code. So just look through that flow chart and I think you'll be able to figure it out now. If you need help, we are available. You can reach us at 1-800-863-2274. Thank you very much for your time and keep us in mind, we are the Sam4S cash register experts. Thank you.